protesters in Plateau State storm INEC headquarters demanding a recount of the votes. You're welcome to today's news. Thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please, you can subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. The news details. It has been stated that some group of protesters in Plateau States has stormed the INEC headquarters as they have demanded a recount of the votes of the just concluded election in the country. Recall that Ashwaju Balametinubu of the APC was declared winner of the 2023 presidential election on the first day of March 2023 by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEG, and many people did not take that well. And after the results were relieved, revealed by INEG, the Labour Party and the PDP decided to take their matter to court. And in the same vein, their supporters have taken to the Nigerian streets to protest so far. And now, protest has begun in Nigeria. Remember that in Abuja, some protesters, some society came together to protest concerning the recent election. That they want the sh election to be re recounted. They want the results to be checked very well. That the INEC chairman should upload the results on Beavers and IREV. And also, they were demanding for the, 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 the resignation of the INEC chairman and every of his allies that were in, in, involved in this election because the, the INEC chairman did not fulfill his promise to Nigerians. He, he has promised Nigerians that Nigerians should, should calm down. Nigerians will experience a free and fair election. Instead of the normal way of voting, it will be electronically uploaded where Nigerians can monitor their results in each polling unit. But to their amazement, on the election day, Nigerians came out in their multitude in different polling units. In some polling units, the INEC officials came late. Some polling units, the INEC officials did not even show up. Some, some of the voters were delayed till late afternoon in the evening before they can start voting. And even after they are voting, start, after they started the voting, the beavers machine was not functioning well. Some of the INEC officials were like, they don't know the password. The password is incorrect. The beavers machine is, is not functioning very well. And this has caused issue immediately after the conclusion of the election. People are coming out to protest. Supporters of the LP and PDP are protesting that this result ain't the real results. We want the INEC chairman to come up and come and show us, okay, this is the result. Upload it. Let us see from each polling unit the results that was released. So the two states also had to storm INEC headquarters. These ones are demanding for a recount of the votes. That's this vote is not correct. These numbers are not correct. Come and recount the votes in our presence. Because we know how we voted in Plateau State. We know who we voted for. And that is not the person that won. So come back and recount. They are not minding whether the INEC chairman has announced the winner. This election which has caused a lot of things to start up, coming up, showcasing itself. Whereas the PDP and the Labour Party candidates has gone to the courts to has gone to the court because of this matter to prove to the courts that this election we won. 
But now, the Labour Party and the PDP, each of them are saying they are the winner of the election. Winner is the winner when the three parties are saying they are the winner. But they are never ready to listen to whatsoever the, con the supporters, the presidential candidates are also not ready. They are determined to make sure that Ashwajibal Ahmed Tinumbu will not be declared, will not be sworn in in May 29, 2023. The plateau has come out for protest. They stormed the INEC office. Abuja also. Which states will be the next to come out to storm INEC headquarters demanding for a recount in their votes? Which other party will come up and say they want to go to court also to seek the right results? What is the next step that other parties will not like to take and the supporters? Whereas Ashwajibal and Metunumbu are told the opponents that they should not resort to violence. They can seek legal recourse. We've come to the end of the news. What's your view concerning this? Kindly share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.